Hey everybody, this is Steve. I'm here in Cook, Minnesota. I have a job to do here um, day after tomorrow. And uh, I uh, put together a awning for my van. I used a couple of uh, aluminum extension poles that I already had for window cleaning. Um, those are kind of expensive poles, but they're, they're actually for window cleaning. I found some inexpensive poles that would probably do the job just as well. Uh, at a fleet supply place, um, yeah, I forgot the brand, but they were like $14 a piece and they extended to 8 feet, like from 4 to 8 feet, which would probably do the job just fine. I haven't used them, but uh, I kind of checked them out in the store and I think they would work just fine. Um, but I already had the poles, like I said, so I just modified those slightly. I did not damage them, um, so they'll, they'll still do the job that I use them for cleaning windows. Uh, I just drilled some holes uh, in the, the two ends uh, of the on the poles, but the tools will still attach. Um, I made sure not to damage them, and I just wanted to run some of those uh, canopy connection like bungee cords with the the uh, black rub, black balls. They sell those in a tin pack at Walmart for like four dollars and some change. I still have a few left over. I didn't use them all. But I really lucked out. I got the Stanley uh, suction cups that are rated at like 200, 250 pounds of holding power. And um, uh, yeah, those were typically, what I got was typically $180 retail. And I happened to just luck out and found them for, all of them for like under $17. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I felt like it was Christmas or something. But anyway, I, I was going to use some Harbor Freight suction cups, which you could use. They don't look as nice and the holding power is not rated as high, but I think they would do the job. I might still use some of the um, Harbor Freight um, suction cup mounts. They have one that was a double suction cup, which is pretty cool. It was red at Harbor Freight. It was like eight or nine bucks. I, I really want to try that one because you have double suction cups. Um, so I'm going to get the step stool out and start putting my suction cups in place. And then uh, I'll, I got a $10 tarp at uh, Harbor Freight. And what else did I get? I got some uh, paracord for like four bucks, 50 foot of paracord. I happened to get orange, so it'll show up better at night uh, at Walmart. And uh, I got a couple of uh, coat hanger hooks. They're like double ended like that. And they were a couple of dollars a piece. I think $2.40 $2 a piece. They hook really good on a bumper or like you can find little holes in the frame of your vehicle to attach it to. What I really liked about this design is the poles don't go on the ground. So I don't need to put stakes in the ground anywhere, which I really like. I like not having to stake anything into the ground. And I like the way this one slants. Uh, today happens to be a rainy day here. Um, thank God my camera is a waterproof camera or phone and um, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to test it out to see how it sheds rain so um, it actually attracts more attention so I kind of like that because I'm trying to find window cleaning work um, up here around Lake Vermilion in Cook Minnesota uh, I, I uh, this is a, probably the most public intersection uh, in Cook right across from Zoops, they call it Zoops uh, grocery store and the mobile station and the subway and McDonald's and the main intersection where the, the road that goes to the lake and goes by the water tower. So, uh, yeah, if anybody wants their windows cleaned in Cook, Minnesota, you know where to find me. And you can probably see my phone number on the side of the van. I also have a Minnesota number, uh, which is my main number, 651-508-7897. So that goes, both, both numbers go to the same phone. Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to start putting the um, uh, suction cups on and see how long this takes me. So right now, I'm not sure what time it is, but you can look at the timestamp. Mm
just so you can see how these work. <clears throat> they got this big suction cup on the bottom, and then they got a place for <clears throat> a pretty wide strap, or plenty of room for a strap, and it's made out of this, the top part's made out of heavy duty uh, plastic. And then you can see my, um, my uh, I keep my little canopy ties here with the plastic ball on them. I tied a knot in them because I don't need that much of a loop. I just shortened the, the loop by tying a knot in it. And that holds the <clears throat> holds my tarp um, through the grommet that's already in the tarp very securely tight. Probably won't come loose uh, in crazy wind. So anyway, you just uh, you shove this down on the surface and then you push this lever over and it creates the connection. size these loops until um, I had done the first one so the uh, the first one I did I never put a knot in it because I didn't know where to put the knot it's about right here approximately and you only have to do this once so the next time you set it up it's a step you don't have to do <clears throat> And the knot kind of holds it on the uh, suction cup, so it's always there for you. I uh, personally uh, put the ball through the, the loop, and then that holds it even better. the idea of putting a, um, a canopy across the back doors uh, which would work pretty well if I had the suction the, the doors kind of pop open and they're hard to close without significant pressure by a human uh, they kind of whatever they there's a detent point that's really strong so it would keep the wind from blowing them closed if I put the suction cups um, on both doors and had something to connect tarp too. I could drape the tarp over the rear doors when they're open and then run uh, connections to the suction cups on the doors and I put one more suction cup um, up on the roof on the far side. So I basically need three more suction cups from what I have. I have six right now. Um, if I got three more I could do a uh, canopy over the back doors as well which would be really cool. Especially when it's sunny. Sometimes it's nice to uh, be able to open the back doors when it's sunny and uh, if you're trying to take a nap or something uh, the sun shines right in your face oftentimes so having that canopy over the back doors when they're open would be sweet. I plan on uh, using a permanent marker and marking where these suction cups go or leaving them on there, but I really like to take them off 
Maybe I'll leave them on there. I'll try it. They seem to hold really well. I, I need to get more experience with them. This is the second time I put it on. Uh, so it's probably why I'm a little slower. But uh, I think this is a great value. Um, it's not the prettiest can awning, but you could replace the tarp with something prettier. You could uh, replace the poles with something a little more cosmetically appealing. And uh, yeah, then you would have uh, a really nice... Uh, canopy awning um, on whatever vehicle that you can figure out you know how to fit one on it's pretty versatile I left, the, uh, I left the suction cups with the bungee cords attached to the poles, so uh, it'll be easier to put on, I think. At least they'll be easier to find, less individual components to put in place. So now I'm going to do the, uh, I don't know if I should put the tarp up first or put the poles up first. Um, I think I should put the poles in place first and they can just lay on the ground. And then when I put the uh, tarp in place, it'll be ready uh, to put the poles in. Otherwise, the tarp's gonna be in the way of putting the poles in place on the lower side. In case you're wondering what kind of uh, poncho I have on, it's called Frog Tog. And uh, that's not sponsored. I, I don't remember where I picked it up, um, but it's handy. It's got a nice little bag that it goes in. Sometimes I grab it and throw it on. I'm trying to finish up a job in the rain. See how I drilled it. I had to move, I moved these uh, these clips. So you push them in, uh, you take the cone off, you squeeze on this and you take the green cone off. This is an unger pole. And just in case somebody happens to be using an unger pole that they have laying around as a window cleaner. Um, but I pushed these in and I slid them back to get it out of the way of drilling a hole. Otherwise I would have hit this little uh, tweezer shaped uh, uh, connection component of this pole. But I wanted to drill a hole in the pole so I could put the uh, the tarp bungee in, uh, through it, and um, it wouldn't come loose. It couldn't come loose. So uh, I did that on both poles. They're both identical. Uh, one of my poles has a bunch more sections, but they're the same pole. The top three pieces are the same. And then this one already had a hole through the bottom of the handle. That's how I keep that um, connected to the suction cup. This is. Uh, the way it uh, connects uh, to the fan. I'm not going to edit this because I wanted you to see how long it takes. supposed to hold 200 and 
50 pounds, some crazy amount. get the ones at Harbor Freight for like under five bucks or they got the that's the plastic ones the suction cups or you can get the aluminum ones for like nine dollars and they got that double one for like eight ninety nine Okay, now we're just ready for the uh, um, tarp and the uh, guy lines. I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, the guy lines, set them up on top of the trailer. While I'm thinking about it, I'll show you my uh, my coat hanger hooks. See how they almost look like a fishing lure for a big fish. Uh, it doesn't really stick very good. It's got the balls on the end, but the paracord fit through the two screw holes. Um, so that was really ideal to, you know, um, in a non-marring, I think they're metal, a non-marring uh, fashion to connect it to the vehicle um, to tighten up the uh, holes. See, there's one, there's two. Uh, I probably should put a mark on them somehow that lets me know which one goes in the front, which one goes in the back. I'll just put a mark on, like, see the front one. Probably the hardest part. Figuring out which side's the long side. Oh, well, I did make the cut um, in the uh, material, so that helps know what what strong it connects where. So this goes around my ladder rack. I had to make a little bit of a cut. I might still modify that some more. Um, and this is not. This is just a test piece of material. I plan on putting a much nicer piece of material up for a camp.
gets a lot easier because we're done with the step tool. Um, not sure which one of these is in the back. So this is the only glitch I've run into. It's the second time I put it on. It's what I found is uh, you always got to do things multiple times to know where the glitches are. Uh, I don't really remember. If it doesn't fit, it probably goes in the other location. want that loop on the end the loop on the end of your uh, orange cord or your cord um, to be tight so it barely fits over the end I just tied the loop knot uh, like that barely fits over the top of the green pole uh, I just put the uh, I put the bungee through the grommet. These have really nice, these tarps from Harbor Freight have nice reinforced corners, uh, and uh, then I just shoved the ball through the bungee uh, on the short side where I made the knot. And it probably won't come loose. Um, and uh, see if it can fit. Little tight. I'm not straight for it, I think. Uh, Looser than the other side, but I did fully loosen up the knot. I could have done that on the other side, I didn't. Uh, now, I tied another, I tied this knot first. Uh, the loop knot gives me a, a, a pulley to tighten up my cord to. Okay, that's my, uh, the lower end of my pole is sliding down. I really would like to have that position too. Some of these knots uh, I might tighten up on uh, at some point. So just as I use it, I'll know like where little bitty adjustments need to be made. They're totally doable. I really wanted to 
get this in the rain today because uh, I wanted to see how it sheds water. Very interesting to know that. We can make some uh, minor design improvements if needed. But there we go. Uh, just a slip knot. Yep. <laughs> I have a rag in there. But we're in the dry. Uh, we're bringing in the dry so you can be in the dry too. There we go. Now you're in the dry. Pretty cool. Um, actually like the way this uh, slopes down. Uh, I like the fact that it does not need to be uh, staked into the ground. It's all disconnected to my vehicle. Uh, you could, I was thinking of some different ways to uh, possibly improve it. Uh, maybe with like a, a support pole in the middle or something like that maybe. Um, make it drain better. Uh, but maybe it's just a matter of, you know, that's like for long term. If you're just a, uh, you know, if you're here using it, every once in a while you could just push up on it and cause the water to drain off more easily. But yeah, we're in the dry. Cool. So that's it. Um, very uh, effective um, awning for a vehicle. Just suction cups, bungee cords, a bungee uh, canopy ties from Walmart or wherever else you can find them. I didn't find them at like uh, Harbor Freight or I don't think I saw them at Tractor Supply either. Uh, no, I didn't see them. I did not see them at uh, that supply place where I got the good deal on the Stanley suction cups. I just saw them at Walmart, but at least they're at Walmart. Um, yeah, I hope that helps you. Uh, it's my quick um, prototype awning for my van. I'd studied these quite a bit. I'd see more people had paid like you know, 400, 300, 200, 400 dollars. Um, and I, because I already had the poles, um, I have less than 50 bucks in this. I have like right at 45 dollars. That includes the good deal I got on the Stanley suction cup. So if you use those uh, premium suction cups or even the cheaper uh, suction cups from uh, Harbor Freight, um, you'd still have more than 50 bucks if you have the poles. If you don't have the poles, I found decent poles for uh, like $14 a piece at that fleet supply place. They had them, they extended out to eight feet. Uh, I might upgrade to those uh, just because they look nicer for this uh, intended purpose. Uh, and then I have my window cleaning poles uh, free for window cleaning, which is what they're for. Okay, hope that helps you.